Hi, this is Paula, and I just wanted to share my little cheat sheets that I use. I saw that some of you guys are having problems with your colors, and this is what I use. For this tutorial, I'm using Craft Artist Compact. It's a free version. I actually use the paid version, Craft Artist 2 Pro. Uh, it's a Windows-based program, or if you're using Mac, you have to have Parallels. Um, you're going to want to Google for a download, but just be careful with the site you choose. I use CNET and it was a safe download for me. The second thing I want to address before I get started is if you have Windows 10 that is updated and had Adobe Flash removed, you will get a pop-up, a little white pop-up window and it'll say Adobe and it's looking for program you could just ignore that if you still have flash on your computer and you click on a feature that's not available in the program you will get a video like this and again you can disregard this video um, if you want to know more about craft artist 2 you could PM me. Now I'm going to start with the blank page. Because I'm using the pro version, the palettes that I have loaded may not match the ones that you have. I think the free version comes with about five and it's about 10 or 12 in the paid version. Now this one is a default palette. It's called the document palette, but you Now this is the default palette, it's called the document palette. And what I do is, I'll start off with a heading, saying my doc. And so I know this is my document palette, just underline it. And what I like to do is start with, with little circles, but you don't, you don't have to do this. And so I made that circle with a little cutout just by going to my shapes, using a circle, using a moon, selecting both of them, and under my arrange, I've joined them. So you know if you're using Cricut or Inkscape or Silhouette Studio, it's basically the same thing and you'll probably be familiar with some of these things here so I'm just gonna get rid of this and then what I do is I I like to match my palette up to this one so when I get in here I'm gonna have four across and however many down it's gonna match whatever I have here so I'm gonna copy this a few times I'm gonna take it on my align tool I'm gonna to distribute it and I'm going to make sure they're all lined up, so I'm going to do it to the bottom. And I'll group these just for a minute. Again, you can copy and paste. Or you can use your control key and drag. And again, I'm going to select these all again. Make sure they're spaced properly. Align to the left, and I'm good to go. And what I'll do, I'm going to ungroup all of these. And I won't do it, I won't show all of them, but you guys will get the idea of what I'm doing. And what I do is I match this to my palette here. So the first one's going to be white, that one's going to be black. And so on. I do this to match the palette. And if I go here more, you will see that there are other palettes available. And again, I'm not sure which all come with this. I think it's five. But because I have the pro version, again, there are more. 
another way to do this. Get rid of these. Is you could just take a snip of this. Enlarge it and print it. And you'll end up with the same thing. I just like this look. This program also has something. It's called the Color Palette Designer, which I was just in. And you can also go under the Ditch Kit. This is where you can create your own. Now, again, somebody was having trouble with reds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go here and pick the red. And it's going to come here. And so that's going to be what I start with. But some of these colors are slightly different. You could also go to your slider over here and pick out some other reds that differ just slightly. The new color is going to show down here. And although these colors are going to look the same to the eye, your computer will pick up the differences. Okay, okay. And then again, I selected the document palette, so the colors from there are now here in this screen. And I do the same thing. And change them to match. And so on. And I just change my name to Reds. Now because this version of the program will not allow you to save a DigiKit, If you save this file, you can A, print it, but then pull the file back up. And again, you can use your color picker to get your colors. And you'll see them change and the numbers change in the sliders here. You also have different ways of picking your colors. Now, like I said, I use several different printers. I use laser, inkjets, edible image, sublimation, and I also have a commercial print shop that I go to. And so I make these cheat sheets on all of those printers. I also will print them out on different um, types of paper to see the results that I'm going to get and go from there. So I hope that helps anyone. I mean, again, you don't have to use this program. You can use any program and hopefully you have a photo editor, something where you can pick up the different colors and make yourself a cheat sheet. Now, another fun thing with this program text is Going back to that color palette designer, I'm going to clear this out and go to DigiKit. I'm going to get rid of these reds. This says clear. You want to be very careful because if you clear this on any other color palette, you have lost your palette. Now, um, say I want to start with this blue, but I want to see um, what colors will go well with it. Now, these are different parts of a col color wheel, and I just come in here and play. And when it goes around, it's going to move the angle of the colors. But you will 
have different colors that are going to work well together. And everything's still featured off of this color. The center. I'm sorry. Everything is based off this color right here. And it's still going to be here in the center. And it's just something that I like to play with. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you, this helps some of you guys out. I will show you one other thing. Um, this program was made for scrapbookers. And so it has the DigiKits in it. But I'm just going to show you this. This was a um, swatch I took offline and I wanted the colors to match. So in the paid version, you can create a palette based off a photo, um, photo, clip art, anything. And then you can load it and work with it. I've added the DigiKit and it's all there. So have fun, try it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to PM me. I love this program and I'll be doing a couple more videos for the free version if you wanna um, follow along. Bye.